Hey, Maxtivity artists. It's great to have you back. I was just painting this morning, so I'm wearing my painting smock. It's got a little bit of paint on it. It's not too bad. And uh, you can see I was working on a duck back here and an owl. So it takes a while. Sometimes you have to work on something multiple times before you get it just right, especially when you're doing oil paint because it takes forever to dry. Today, we're going to be painting, but not with oil paint. We're going to be painting with watercolor, and that dries pretty fast. So we should be able to get this painting done all in one sitting. And what are we going to be painting? We're going to be painting a bear wearing a scarf. And that is because bears are hibernating right now, probably in really cold places. It's winter time. But if they were to come out of hibernation, it would be cold and need their scarf, right? Now, bears don't really wear clothes, but we're going to talk about texture. And this is a great project to learn about texture. Texture is how do things feel? So we're not actually gonna be feeling our painting, but we want to create a picture that looks like if you touched it, it would feel certain ways, like maybe it would feel prickly or soft or scratchy. So we're gonna talk about texture today. What you're gonna want is a big piece of paper that you can paint on. So something a little bit thick watercolor paper is great if you have that. You're gonna want a pencil, you're gonna want a Sharpie, you're gonna want paintbrush and some watercolor paints along with water and paper towels. So we're going to draw kind of a portrait of a bear, not his entire body, mostly his head and shoulders. That's usually what a portrait includes. So the first thing, I think the easiest thing for us to do would be to kind of make a, um, a, a tall curved line, a line that goes up and curves over and then comes back down in a slight curve. I'm getting really close to the top of the page. Hmm. Hopefully there's room for my bear's ears. We're going to put an ear there and an ear there. Okay. Want to make sure that you can see that in the camera. So that's a really big bear head. Now let's make his scarf here. This is going to be a curved line that connects these two points. So curves down and then back up. That's the bottom of his scarf. And then we'll make a line that curves out and comes in on that side and out and in on this side. Did you know, I bet you knew that yesterday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day, but did you know it was also Winnie the Pooh Day? Another reason to do a bear today. And then this line curves in parallel with this one. So these two lines are pretty much parallel. So there's his scarf. Scarfs usually have some, some um, loose ends hanging down. So we're going to make that three lines. One, two, three. That kind of curve off and go right off the page. And now his shoulders, you can make his shoulders go all the way out if you want or just come down like a curved line. All right, can you see that? I'm going to move it up here so you can see. We did these three lines for the scarf and then the two lines there for the shoulder. I'm going to bring that back. Is it in the is it in the right spot? Okay, great. All right now for our bear's face. Now I think you should just lightly, lightly draw in a pear shape in the middle of your bear's face, just lightly, and that is going to be his muzzle and his mouth. So later we're going to define that with our Sharpie and add some texture and we'll erase that pear shape line. Okay. 
So our nose, this is our muzzle, which includes the nose and the mouth, but our nose is actually going to be kind of an upside down triangle. And it's not gonna be up here. It's gonna be down here. So right about there, give your bear a nice big nose. Oh, I like how that looks. Just kind of a curvy, an upside down triangle with curvy corners. And then a little line that comes down here. And you can have your bear looking kind of sad or serious by making an upside down, a curve, a frown. Or you can make your bear happy by giving him a smile. It's up to you. Or it could just go straight across. You could just kind of be indifferent. Now eyes, that's another thing that you get to choose. You can give him great, big, giant, funny eyes, or you can give him little eyes. I think I'm gonna give my bear some little eyes and the eyes should go on either side of the pair. Great. There's my bear. All right, now here is where the texture comes in. Uh, but I don't wanna do that with my pencil. I think I'm gonna do that with my pen. So, I'm gonna take my Sharpie and I am going to give my bear some texture by giving him lines of fur. And I'm gonna start on the pear. So I am making little lines of fur all around the outside edge of my pear. They're all going out from the center. See how they all go out from the center? Then I'm going to do another row of lines about the same length, little short dash lines that all kind of go out from the center of the pear. We're creating texture. We're creating the illusion that our bear has fur. Around the eyes, I want to go out from the eyes. Make the eye the center and have the little lines radiate out from that. Let's do another row around the eyes. I realize that you can't go all the way around the eye because the pear muzzle is in the way. That's okay. Little short lines. All right, now let's just keep going with the cheeks. We'll make some lines going out from the pear still. They're all kind of at that same, maybe make some going up the side here. And let's, let's have some more radiating out from the eyes a little farther. And then up here, hmm, I think we'll have, let's do dashes going right up the middle. And then these dashes will go to that point and these dashes will go to that point. So what I mean is these dashes will start going out from the eye and up, curving with the top of the head and these dashes will go up towards that center line and up towards the top of the head and kind of curve along the edge of the head there. Look at that, our bear has some texture. Okay, I'm gonna do the ears. So first, I'm gonna do a curve inside each ear that I'm gonna erase later. Then I'm gonna take my pen and do, just like I did on the pair, I'll do little lines all around the perimeter of that curve, and then more lines coming out. Like rays of sunlight extending out from the curve of the ear. Okay. Now I can do the same thing down here for the fur on the bear's shoulders. And that shows where the scarf makes it easier to tell the difference between the bear's scarf and his fur. Cause that was a little confusing before, see? 
right? We can do all kinds of textures on our scarf. Depends on what you want to do. So I think we can divide the scarf, make it look like it's got stripes. And we could do a, a curvy, curvy lines here. Gives it kind of a, a knitted kind of texture. And we could do, mm, we could do some lines going across like this and we could do whatever you want to do you could make these are more like patterns but they can also give the feeling of texture I think down here we'll do hmm Maybe just some stripes going this way. And maybe some more polka dot. Okay. Now I really ought to sharpie his nose and his mouth and his eyes before we go any further. Maybe give him a few little dots around here. Okay, I think I'm ready to erase the pear shape line that was just helping me to know where his muzzle should be. Look at that, all gone. You can still kind of see where his mouth was. And I'm gonna erase the lines inside the ears. Now, I didn't, I did not trace this, I suppose. I could do that, but I think I'll go around the ear. I don't need to do that part. So I'll erase that line too. Oops, wrinkled my paper. Okay, see those ears? I erased that line as best I could. Great, I think, um, I think I wanna color his pupils, but I'm gonna leave a shine spot. So first I'll draw a shine spot. And then I'll color his pupils in with my Sharpie. Looking good. We are now ready to paint. But of course, you could do whatever you want on that scarf to give it whatever texture you wanna give it. Whatever design you can think of. So I'm gonna take a fairly large brush. This is called a flat brush, but you can use whatever you want, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't use a little tiny brush like, um, I wouldn't use a little tiny brush like this. Little tiny brushes are for details. Like maybe when I do these circles, I'll wanna do the tiny brush, but when I'm doing my bear, I want a big brush. So I'm gonna get it wet and then I'm gonna choose a color for my bear. I have lots of colors here. Lucky for me. Ooh, look how nice that looks. So I'm going to leave the inside of his ear, I think. Um, so I can do the, maybe a lighter color or a darker color. So with watercolor, my brush starts to get real dry if I don't have enough water on it. See that, how it's getting dry? That means I need to get some more water and some more paint. And then it flows again and it's darker if I put more paint on my brush. It's lighter if I put less paint and more water. The more water I put, the lighter it is. See that time I just put my brush in the water and I did not add more paint. So I think I'll use that color to do his muzzle because I want that to be lighter. I didn't even add paint that time. I just dipped it in the water. I'll do his ears too, the insides of his ears that color. Now I want it to be dark again. So I'm gonna get water and paint on my brush. Oop, now it's dark again. Just gonna paint right over that texture. Looks like he's really furry, huh? But I wanna leave my pear shape. I might have to redefine my pear shape with my 
brush there and blend some of that in, smooth some of those spots that were a little too different in color. Great, now we'll do his shoulders. So we'll get some more, oh, that's really dark. I put a lot of paint on that time. Paint his shoulders with some nice watercolor. All right. And I need my camera person to check and make sure that I'm in the camera. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna get some black to do the bear's nose. So I'm getting some water. Looks more like gray. Watercolor black often is um, more like gray. That's all right. That's why I did his eyes with the Sharpie, because I want his eyes to be nice and dark. All right, now for that scarf. You can make your scarf all one color, or you can make it lots of different colors. It's up to you. I think it'd be kind of fun to make each patch a different color. So I think I, think I want a nice bright yellow for this square, and maybe a nice red for this one. Hmm, let's see, and maybe, maybe we'll stick with the primary colors. Red, yellow, and blue. That's a, a nice, bright scarf. All the primary colors. Lots of different textures going on on that scarf. So I'm gonna repeat those colors. I'll put blue down here. I don't wanna put two colors right next to each other. I wanna have some variety. So I'll stagger it so that my um, scarf, those two colors aren't touching. What about the polka dots? Hmm, well, I'm gonna use my little brush. I think I'll get yellow. And I think I'll do my polka dots yellow. And you know, I can just leave the background white behind the polka dots. I think I'll, I think I will. I think, cause it's gonna be kind of hard to watercolor around the polka dots and not get the polka dots um, all drippy and blended in with the rest. So I think I'll leave that white and I'll instead I will watercolor the background behind my bear. Oh yeah, I like those polka dots. So if it's a cold, wintry day, the background could be gray or maybe kind of a, a blue. Maybe it's a, maybe it's an icy blue day. So I'm going to make my background just a nice light, icy blue. So I don't want to get too close to my bear because I don't want the paint to all run together. I'm going to leave a little space between my bear and the sky. Got to get more, keep getting more paint so that it doesn't all run together. A little more water there, a little more paint, more paint. paint. I'm kind of running out of that icy blue. I haven't got very much in there, so I guess I like that color. I've used it a lot. It's mostly... Oops! See what happened? I got a little too close down here and kind of um, smeared the brown. All right, there's our bear. So... make sure he's in there. So we've got some furry texture. We've got some maybe kind of ruffly texture, um, maybe some bumpy texture. And we've got the smooth uh, sky in the background. So hope you had a great time painting your bear. So we're gonna end today with a quote by a famous artist, Renoir. He was a painter. 
and he said, to my mind, a picture should be something pleasant, cheerful and pretty. There are too many unpleasant things in life as it is without creating still more of them. So we created a pleasant, cheerful bear today. Have a great day.